Hello everyone and happy Sunday in the wee hours of the morning. I'm taping my last taping at, uh, where are we, 12.30 a.m. Alright, we are touching on Portia Williams and Simon Gabadia and uh, Denise. I know all I said, Denise. Dennis McKinley. Or maybe he is a Denise, who knows. We don't know the true facts about his sexuality now, do we? Other than he was a dog and he just loved himself women. So I wouldn't put him like a man away just yet either. Okay. He's part of the industry. Okay. But has money made everyone just go out of their minds? Just crazy. Great, great. Ah, bugging. What is the almighty dollar when you can gain the whole world but lose your soul? Yes, Lord. But all things, yes things, all things work together for our good for those who love, who love the Lord. Okay, but we're going to get ready to discuss these beautiful women and this old man, honey. This old man. <laughs> I'm like, can't you go find somebody your age? Because I know you're in your 60s. Okay? Why you want fresh meat, young meat? Why don't you go on and get that seasoned meat over there? What's, what's wrong, Simon? You think a seasoned woman could possibly handle you, tame you? And you just don't like the old meat. Is that what it is? You don't want you don't want the cougar even though you're a cougar. Okay. I mean cougar Ed, and you're a cougar. I don't know where Shamia. Why she not talking to her friends. Uh, Portia. About the African man she's trying to date. And put her family in the midst of it all. I mean PJ. She already have a loving father who's a dog. But why are you trying to marry another dog? It's what the streets are telling me. Have you and Andy Cohen and this man Simon Gambadia and Dennis got a contract together under the table where nobody knows about it? Have you and Andy Cohen set up there and made uh, a, a pact to bring Real Housewives of Atlanta back on top? Have Andy convinced you to f fake a storyline that you're trying to, you know, be married uh, to this African guy who has a lot of wealth and he just brought y'all in a situation where it seems like you may have stolen this woman's husband because at the time when y'all were doing this filming Fallon that girl who was trying to pour you a drink she invited you your sister Tanya and I think it was Marlo over there to her house for a swim just to get together just to introduce her to the cast members and she invited you over to her crib or I should say Simon Gabadia's crib introduced you to her her way of living uh introduced you to her husband and y'all got the same pear-shaped diamond ring i'm like did Fowler give me back to simon Gabadi and then he gave it to you portia that's tacky as hell and if that did transpire you should be whooped up the crack of your behind you should be whooped up the crack of behind of your behind honey because Fallon didn't take no seconds thirds for for the time being she was his um um wife concubine i don't know because when you in that uh culture uh the african culture if you can afford many wives you can have them uh polygamy is a big thing uh amongst the african-american race the true africans uh and the cultures that they abide by not the western europe not the not the western european blacks not us not us I'm talking about when you were born and raised in a country and they had strict laws, strict, um, what do you call it, uh, arranged marriages and just strict tradition. That's what I'm talking about. That Simon had found himself in. But they even say on these streets, uh, YouTube streets, that he's not even a true Nigerian. He don't practice the ways of anything. He finds that like in the heyday. Uh, nothing interesting he wants to partake of. But yeah, he was married to Fallon. And as you can see, Fallon is much younger than Portia. Beautiful. You put them side to side. They actually could be sisters. Seems like she, uh, Fallon, the, which is the picture to the right, seems like she has aged messing with that uh, old man. Okay, Simon Gabadia. Okay, he's in Atlanta. He's residing now. That's his wife, uh, trophy wife, I should say, Fallon. But the downside to this that man is sitting next to her used to be her assistant or her uh former husband simon gabadia's assistant and she was allegedly having an affair with him and had a baby okay i, I don't know i know she's pregnant 
I don't know if she had the baby or not. But, you know, it was speculation that Fallon actually had cheated on Simon. And I'm like, could you blame her? Could you blame her? Look at him. And I'm not trying to dog him. I'm just saying he's well seasoned. Meaning he's up in age. Can't probably do too much. Probably taking a Viagra to get it going in the bedroom. And <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. They said Portia had unfollowed Simon Gabadi, her fiance, because of this woman. I don't know if she white or she black. I can't tell you. She might just be black, but just highlighted with the blonde street, uh, hair. That's throwing me off. But yes, um, Fallon had a similar ring to Portia's, that uh, yellow canary uh, diamond. And they were just saying maybe uh, Fallon gave it back to Gabadia and Gabadia uh, re-gifted it and gave it to Portia. You know, <laughs> Portia don't really care. Uh, but it just is what it is. No, I think that's a white woman. Okay, yeah. They said Gabadia was messing with her. As you can tell, he like him young and thin and beautiful. Okay? He don't care about the race. If you want to be with him and you met that criteria I just explained, then you could be with him. Okay? But I can tell if uh, Portia does come back to Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 14, Kenya is going to have a field day on her behind. I can just see it in lights. <laughs> Tornado twirl is going to be twirling all over that storyline and all over Portia. Okay. Woo, honey. And then, uh, in some past history back then in the heyday, maybe a couple of months ago, Nene was on the line with some shade room and they were talking about uh, Portia's uh, fiance and all like that. And Nene felt that he thought uh, Gabadi was trying to date Portia's mom. I'm like he don't want no old meat. He don't want no old meat. He don't want no old season well off meat. No, he don't want that. He want the uh ones he can manipulate, uh dictate to, and pretty much tell them to sit in the house. Just be like a trophy wife. Kind of like what Cordelia Stewart did to Portia in her heyday. I'm like, ain't you tired of that, Portia? Ain't you tired of that? And then personally, I'm not about being disrespectful, but yeah, that's the assistant uh one of their assistants Fallon cheated with allegedly and then I guess Portia swooped in and, and did what she had to do and um uh, didn't let a fumble be on that play but she just went on and scored a torch touchdown as you know we can probably think in her mind of thinking but um yeah uh we we're still out on whether she cheated or not we know she went through a very very difficult divorce with Simon but if she did cheat on him she he got rid of her quick fast in a hurry okay but i'm like mm, you like them young though simon you like them young and in those streets they saying that you messing with that white woman and it's a lot of other women out there too that want to come forward but they just won't do it at this time and i'm like oh lord they're gonna wait till season 14 come and can you go look up her and marlo all those garbodious um women he have in the states that they can fly over just for the by chance meeting <laughs> y'all do remember kenya and tanya and how Ta uh she found this lady supposed to be messing with tanya's husband her fiance because she ain't married to him either they might just have an arrangement <laughs> i have no idea but that was a uh scene where fallon had invited portia and the girls over and uh introduced them to her husband and everything's all kosher and I just went left. Just went totally left. And see, you see how Fallon, she's young, very pretty. Uh, and Simon is just eating all that up. But one thing that Fallon didn't have, uh, she had the look, she had the body, and she probably had the brains. But she didn't have the notoriety. They were trying to bring her on, uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but it wasn't solidified. Okay. Now maybe uh dennis portia's ex-boyfriend or i don't know I, I really don't know maybe they're in cahoots with andy uh cohen trying to revamp rejuvenate uh by recasting a little bit and uh trying to bring some life back to real housewives of atlanta by setting up this fascade or pseudo relationship false relationship um, at the time I couldn't find a picture of um, Dennis and Portia so we know she had the baby PJ here living her best life and all that but it's just kind of strange how she could be in the middle of these two men and they are not conspiring against us to think that 
you know because i'm looking at them as a threesome they probably had porsche all at one time and she probably enjoyed every little bit of it okay poor pj that's all i can say poor pj where's dennis mom and mama diane because porsche oh who she said a bad example but as you can see porsche looks kind of tired in this video but fallon she didn't really look tired going through the comings and goings of having a divorce allegedly having an affair Simon over there tipping off on her. I mean, she looks very radiant and just ready to do her thing. And then it was allegedly that since uh, Portia was wearing these, um, what do you call it, kimono dresses or sundresses, she was trying to hide her stomach like she was already pregnant with uh, Gabadia's baby. And I'm like, Portia, you already done allegedly stole this man's husband. Now, before he can even get out, of a, a marriage you don't got pregnant you don't got knocked up oh my lord Portia. i mean it just could be her fupa you know that was you know sticking out a little further than it normally would have because you know Portia got a snatch body she loves the big hips and the big behind uh and everything else small she like big breasts like not like dolly parton but a little you know smaller in size but i'm telling you these two women could be sisters to tell you the truth though lauren in there Ooh, you got a trio but i know that tanya i know she knows something about that uh, uh what do you call it formation of a relationship between dennis her ex simon her future and andy cohen and this being the storyline the hit of the day but from what the streets were saying too and i just think the main people, the characters in Real Housewives of Atlanta and people on Andy Cohen team, they're just feeding false narratives uh, to the major bloggers and video uh, personnel that go out and um, try to talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta and all the comments and goings that they feel the um, uh, celebrities are going through. Uh, and I think they just be sending out false narratives so we can keep talking about them uh, to me i don't think it's a real marriage I, I, or, or a real marriage that's going to transpire because portia just don't seem to be in that type of lifestyle where she's going to be uh submissive uh, she's going to take the back seat to whatever her husband said you know almost going back to being a trophy wife put her in the same predicament as um the relationship environment she had to have with cordell stewart her first husband i'm like Portia, can you see the signs on the wall baby can you see the signs on the wall because if it wasn't for dennis mama and dennis kind of sticking up for himself he probably would have been married to Portia, and she probably been miserable because he, he would have been cheating on her uh no fault of his own he just you know he just a dog he just loved women and Portia shouldn't have been setting herself up for somebody that can't control himself and can't control his manhood you know what i'm saying so here we go Portia's trying to defend herself that she's not a home wrecker from what I hear because uh, I'm just catching up on the story that their marriage between Fallon and Simon were pretty much over I'm like oh like the same relationship you were having with Dennis and Dennis saying he was um, a one man woman now and then you found out he was cheating on the side because the streets were talking real loud and of course Marlo wanted to bring it to you along with Ken and some other people <laughs> But I think Portia would make a good surrogate mother for Gambadia's daughter or any other children. But I don't see Portia sitting at home being a caregiver to the children. You know what I'm saying? I still see her going out there doing her thing, wanting to do everything she possibly can. And she ain't got time to be, you know, chasing down the uh, kids. Okay? And she can ch chase down PJ all day long because she birthed her. And there's no excuse PJ gonna be there, okay? Come come here or high water, she gonna be there. But for Portia to sit down, because Fallon didn't even do a real good job with trying to babysit his other children or or his daughter. Uh and if she didn't really do it, how fast I mean how um Portia thinks she's gonna uh do it. So that's just my beef, my <sighs> thing i needed to say so let's get into the article why don't we and then y'all could tell me what y'all felt about you know did portia step in a lane that she shouldn't have been in until it was clear 
or was she right about everything was over they weren't together um only a name and that was being served as they were speaking um with the judge and the law uh they just had to wait on the proceedings to proceed and i'm pretty sure she got something i'm guessing from uh Gabaria. but if she did cheat it but if she did cheat he found out he has proof then no she don't deserve anything go on with your um boyfriend uh and live your best life i guess we should say but anyway this uh hot story came from hotlifestylenews.com all righty they're not giving me the person that wrote it uh, but they put out the article on may 10th 2021 so you see i am late Okay, but the, the scenario is still going on in these YouTube streets. She's still trying to play wifey and even calling herself his wife. Ain't not now ceremony that had taken place over in Africa or here in the, you know, the state. I, I mean, I don't know what Portia doing. Calling somebody her husband prior to the actual date and time. And she better have a prenup, okay? And I heard through the YouTube streets, of course, that, um... Portia was thinking about quitting Real Housewives of Atlanta. And of course I had reported that she was just going to do that. Such that. But I also was hearing on the other hand. Simon Gabbardi was like no ma'am. No sir. No lord. You're not going to quit Real Housewives of Atlanta. I got all this notoriety that I never had before. Uh, with Fallon or any other woman. Or N Nigerian woman I was dating. Or Caucasian woman I was dating. I never had this type of notoriety. I'm... I'm in my country meeting with um big people big dignitaries big kings and all of this and they're just interested in this uh, reality world reality tv world and you know what it could possibly bring to their country and their culture uh what uh andy cohen and his team at bravo consider would consider a uh, nigerian real housewives of atlanta and portia would be the first one to spearhead that project i mean that's all that i could see simon as right now uh you know it's a, pretty much like a gold digger a man gold digger and he's gonna use portia to use her up until he finds some other celebrity that he has knocked the boots with or found attractive because if he could not uh keep fouling he damn sure ain't gonna keep Porsche. Okay, that's just how it is. Cause Porsche, she look for the money. She she be where the money resides. Where the money resides. Where the money resides. That's Porsche's motto. You don't make more than her, or just about what she got. She don't want you. <laughs> she don't want you. So I guess there you could look at Porsche as a gold digger too. I guess. I I don't know. I don't know. But moving on. Moving on. Uh, the journalist titled their article is Porsche Williams dating Fallon's ex-husband Simon Gobadia. Well, we know that Fallon and her uh, ex-husband, Simon, are divorced. So, right at this point, uh, fast forward to the present, Portia is dating him. Pa Portia is looking to become the second Miss Gabadia, I guess. I, I don't know. It was Fallon the first Miss Gabadia? Or was she the third, fourth, fifth one? And Portia going to be the seventh one? I don't know. Okay, we just have to wait and see. Or dig up some more research do our vetting a little bit more better than what we've been doing lately okay but the story goes on and say portia williams always brings the drama and the headlines on the real housewives of atlanta who could forget the wild year she spent with ex-fiance dennis mckinley before their september 2018 engagement their whirlwind romance came to a crashing halt when dennis cheating allegations came to light he reportedly cheated on Portia when she was pregnant with their daughter Pilar Johanna uh, McKinley and admitted to his actions in 2019 episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Portia struggled to deal with the fact that Dennis would attend cast member Cynthia Bailey's wedding. I tried to tell Dennis that I didn't want him to be invited. Portia said on the series, We Got People. Uh, him finding out that I didn't necessarily want him to be at the wedding. He felt like I was going to bring a date. The exes have clearly moved on and Portia made it very clear that she never had any intentions to get back together with Dennis. Now, of course, we know that's not true because she was out there in the social media world on her platform saying she needed to be with her daddy. Uh, her baby dad and she need to give it as, as many tries as she possibly can to stand in the third but that's before this opportunity came up with mr simon gabadia okay and it 
that's the difference that they are supposedly calling themselves friends because they have a lot in common <coughs> as far as uh the work part side getting that money um i think denison's in the restaurant business <coughs> i think simon's in the um the club and business or uh alcohol business he's doing something but I, i'll find that out on a, and i'll catch you up on a later video but going back to the article it says dennis is not that i'm afraid she said if we didn't have a baby you and me probably wouldn't even be talking anymore because you be effing over me and i'll be over you ouch porsche was trying to read dennis at this time <coughs> excuse me with McKinley in the rear view, once and for all, fans think there is something going on with Simon Gabadia. Keep reading for more details. Okay, it looks like love is in the air for Portia Williams, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star. Raised eyebrows when she posted an Instagram photo standing next to her ex-fiance, Dennis McKinley. Okay. And Simon Gabadia. The estranged husband of show's friend fouling a body. <laughs> okay. That's Portia in that, uh, I guess, on his rented yacht. I don't know who the African lady is standing up there. Uh, but Portia was drop jumping off the yacht trying to have fun in the sun. Okay. But they said recently uh, Portia had unfollowed Simon Gabadia because it was exposed out there in the YouTube streets and social media world. Uh, he was messing with this white woman. Okay. This Caucasian woman. Okay, even though he had put a ring on Porsche's finger, and it could be the X ring that Fallon had that uh, Gabadi had gave her. Uh, I can't see Porsche doing that, or any woman, because uh, they can basically redesign that ring, use the same rock, but structure it different. But yeah, they were saying that Porsche unfollowed Simon recently because allegedly he was dating that white woman. Okay, and you know. If Eva was still on the show, but she's still going to be on her platform, her social media platform, dogging um, Portia out. <laughs> you know, okay, you're going to be right there chiming in. Because, hey, it makes the ratings go up. It makes us want to watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And for Portia to make a complete ass out of herself. Okay, with this older man. But she thinking she's taking everything to the bank. She's for that dollar, dollar, dollar. Even Nene Leakes classified herself by saying she thought Simon Gabadi was dating Portia's mom. Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. Why would that be the case, Nene, when it's definitely shown that he liked younger women and not putting anything off on Miss Diane, but she's seasoned. She's seasoned, baby. But they said uh, Fallon got somebody her age or a little younger, honey. She being a little cougar running around now. She ain't want that old stuff no more. That seasoned meat. She didn't want that no more. He couldn't get it up. I don't know. I'm just uh, speaking. Allegedly, he couldn't get it up. And, uh, yeah. That's Simon Gabadia. Okay. That's Portia's intent to marry him. Uh, Fallon's ex. Okay. But anyway. Um, fans were quick to note. The placement of Portia's left hand on Simon's chest, which could potentially su suggest an intimacy that will be on more than just friends. Another detail that uh, that caused a frenzy, a ring on Portia's finger, which was just recently shown um, on the video. The ring on Portia's finger hand sent fans into overdrive, with some fans thinking it's different from the engagement ring. Uh, McKinley had gave her in 2018 one fan wrote what the hell is going on with Portia and Simon I'm so confused laughing my ass off these are two different rings okay at one time they were saying it's the same ring but maybe um Fallon's ring was a pear shaped one and hers is a square one I don't know but it's still the yellow cut diamond okay so it could have just been the same diamond but just refigured into uh what Portia is wearing right now but that was my pun intended. Going back to the article, it says, and that's not all. Fans also noticed that Dennis left a suggestive comment on Instagram post. Congre congratulations or congrats, P. Cheers to your next chapter. Happy Mother's Day, he said. Portia responded with thank you, which has fans asking another question. What exactly does this next chapter entail? Simon and Fallon filed for divorce in February, and they publicly acknowledged their split in April. Simon alleged. Fallon was unfaithful in the marriage 
and requested the court to enforce their prenuptial agreement per BASA. Portia has not said anything else about Simon, so we'll stay tuned for the updates. Okay, the updates. And you know, we'll be watching the story uh, completely until we see it just fall off the hinges. Uh, because <laughs> a cheater is pretty much always a cheater unless they are saved by the Lord and are asking for forgiveness and they want to be true uh, to doing right commitment you know what I'm saying something like you do when you go to uh, Alcohol Anonymous they got to you know go back and repair or <laughs> excuse me try to repair bad relationships and apologize for those that they had wrong and try to do better and that's pretty much what the lord want us to do i mean when we're wrong if we offended somebody go back and apologize and then live our best life by doing what's godly and 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 not what's satanic and what thou will want to do just because we want to do it no you don't do that i mean a lot of people want to do a lot of things but they can't do it because it you know kind of interacts with somebody else's uh livelihood and environment and emotion emotional levels and you don't want to tear them down just to bring yourself up is what i'm trying to say basically so i i don't know i think it's a scam i i really do i don't feel that there's any uh love between this Porsche and this gambadia i'm gonna keep watching it i'm gonna um, do my own little due diligence do a little more research but i just don't feel any love here now i did feel some love with uh portia and dennis you know and it could have just been lustful love uh just them lusting out of each other and him being able to uh bring it in the bedroom and she being able to serve him up the way he liked it but he couldn't have liked it too much because he shows out there dating somebody else behind portia back or getting it in behind portia back so portia wasn't as freaky as she thought she was okay Woo, when you think you're the freakiest honey it's always somebody to come back and replace you <laughs> they can do it a little bit better and a little bit longer okay but uh that's all i got for this video guys y'all let me know did um portia slip in just a little bit too close for comfort and dealing with this man gabadia prior to it falling apart on his own due to Fallon's uh, misdeeds of possibly allegedly cheating on her husband at the time. And I bet you Tanya know, I bet you Tanya know everything. But Tanya said, uh-uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta ain't for me. They tried to get me messed up with my true identity and my um, relationship with my fiancé or boyfriend, or however you want to see it, because he don't seem to be too good either. Because he ain't trying to uh, put no ring on her finger and, and marry her either. I don't know about some men out here, I tell you, I, um, black men. It's like they want the cake and eat it too, and that's the latest we did it to ourselves. Can't give them everything. Can't give them everything. <laughs> Gotta make them have some type of allure, some type of mystery to us to uh, make them want to chase us down. You know what I'm saying? Not beat us down, but chase us down, you know. Uh, you know, it's, it's the thrill of the hunt, I guess, the chase until you finally get captured and that's because you wanted to but uh i don't know honey and it may be the same on women's side too women may feel like they don't want to be held down to one relationship they want to open marriage or open relationship i don't know it's just too much going on out here i mean what happened to monogamy what happened to uh you being in the same relationship for 50 years plus and you know you're gonna have your ups and downs but you know you love that person you can't see yourself without that person and the more hell you're getting old you know what i'm saying you're getting old and you got time to be swinging from the chandeliers trying these different positions trying to make these young folk happy when you know you season you're old you need to be out the pasture and you're trying to live your best life but you know it's as old as time nothing has really changed men tend to want the younger a woman once they get a certain age i guess it makes them feel better feel better about themselves their ego who knows and some women like a younger man uh at times um i don't know it just is what it is and people's likes and dislikes but that's all i have for this video guys if y'all like it love it and need to have it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share my videos out that's how you can best help me build my channel up okay but I will see y'all next video. And you know I'll be talking about something interesting. Alright y'all have a good Sunday. 
morning when y'all wake up because right now I'm in Atlanta and right now it is Lord I keep trying to figure out what time it is I know I gotta be going on one in the morning I just couldn't sleep I had a stomach issue and I just I just couldn't sleep guys but yeah this is 1 a.m. on Sunday uh morning september 19th in the wee hours so whenever y'all get a chance to look at this video thumbs it up share it out for me and subscribe to my channel and tell as many friends or foes about my channel okay that i do re at reality celebrity news and anything else i want to talk about that i feel needs to be addressed and i can't talk about it in my real life so i had to come and get on my uh, youtube platform and talk to my family out here okay but y'all take it easy. Y'all be breezy. And I will see y'all next video. Good night.